Imagine this, you're driving into a low, blinding sunset, or maybe you're cruising through a sudden blizzard. Suddenly, your screen flashes red. The car tells you the front camera is blocked. Full self-driving disengages. That single moment of environmental failure, a patch of ice, a streak of mud, or one blinding flash of sun is the invisible wall that has stopped true autonomy dead in its tracks. For years, the software has been the star of the show, but the dirty secret is that the hardware has been the weak link. The cameras, the eyes of the system, simply weren't built to handle the real world. They fog up, they freeze over, and they get blinded by the most common enemy of all, the sun. This is the single biggest liability for Tesla's entire vision. If the car can't see, the software is useless. But now, Tesla is finally addressing this problem with a complete, ground-up overhaul of its vision system. They are calling it the next generation of hardware, and it's the most critical step yet toward unsupervised autonomy. This is the long-awaited hardware suite that has been whispered about for months. This is Hardware 5, or AI5. Reports suggest Tesla is working on a total redesign of the camera modules. We're talking about new hybrid lenses that are waterproof, heated to melt away ice and snow, and most importantly, feature active self-cleaning solutions. Think about what this means for the driver. No more pulling over to wipe a frozen camera lens. No more FSD disengagements because of a little rain or dirt. This new hardware is designed to ensure the car's vision is reliable in every condition, from a desert dust storm to a Canadian winter. It's the physical insurance policy that the software needs to operate 24-7, a fundamental requirement for Tesla's stated goal of a fully autonomous robotaxi. But the most fascinating piece of this puzzle is the solution to the sun glare problem. Tesla recently revealed a patent filing for a high-tech anti-glare shield. This isn't just a simple visor. This is a motorized, dynamically adjusting shield covered in microscopic cone structures. These microcones are designed to absorb light and eliminate glare, while the motorized mechanism physically adjusts the shield's angle in real time, tracking the sun's position with surgical precision. What does this mean for you? It means no more FSD failures when you're driving east at sunrise or west at sunset. It means the car's perception system will finally be able to handle the most common yet most dangerous environmental obstacle. This technology is the difference between a system that works most of the time and one that works all the time. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of Tesla's vision-only approach. This massive investment in hardware isn't just about making your personal car safer, it's about preparing for the fleet. According to Tesla's long-term plans, the RoboTaxi network requires two things, perfect vision and flawless infrastructure. That brings us to the second major move, Tesla just completed a successful stress test of its massive Oasis supercharger in Lost Hills, California. This isn't just another charging station, it's the largest in the world, boasting 164 stalls. Why build a charging station this huge? Because a single robotaxi needs to charge quickly and reliably, but a fleet of thousands needs a massive scalable hub. The successful test of the Oasis supercharger proves that Tesla is building the charging backbone necessary to support a future where hundreds of vehicles are cycling in and out for power simultaneously. The AI5 cameras are the eyes of the robotaxi, and the Oasis supercharger is its heart. Hit the like button if you found this deep dive into Tesla's next generation hardware and infrastructure strategy informative. Subscribe to the channel for more credible analysis and let us know in the comments, are you funding the revolution or is Tesla just getting more expensive?